Hi, I'm just going to show you um, a few things about System Restore on Windows XP. So I'm just going to show you how to get there first. So what we're going to do is go to the Start menu, press on All Programs, and then we're going to find Accessories, which is usually up the top somewhere. And we're going to go to System Tools, and then over to System Restore, and we're going to press on that. Okay, so System Restore box comes up. Uh, that's one way to get there. Okay, another way is to go to the Start menu and go to Run. <coughs> okay, this is a um, just in case you can't get there the other way. Um, now, if you type in that there, percentage sign System Root percentage signs. That's a lot. That's a long thing to type. However, sometimes um, you might need it. Okay, so type that in, press OK, okay, and resist System Restore comes up again. Okay, you can also um, go to the Run box and type in CMD for a command window. <coughs> and then you can go to the command window and paste that in there. Okay, now I suggest you just um, pause the video just so you can um, write that um, string of text down. Okay, so if you just press enter, it'll do the same thing again and it'll start system restore for you. Okay, so what we've got, we've got these three choices. Restore my computer to an earlier time, create a restore point or undo my last restoration. Okay, so let's just press on this one for now. Restore my computer to an earlier time and then go down the bottom and press next. Now we've got um, these ones in the bold. This is where um, there is a restore point, but these ones that aren't bold, there is no restore point there. <coughs> okay, now what we've got here is the 15th of October. Now over here, I actually created a restore point here. It says before gears. Now what that means is that um, I installed a program called gears and I wanted to make a restore point just in case the program ruined my computer or something so I could just come back and um, quickly restore it. Now if I wanted to restore it to that perfect position right there I'd click on that and make it blue and I'd go down here and press next okay and then it has it up here it tells you just to make sure you know what you're doing um, it, <coughs> it keeps all your it says here it keeps all your recent documents and emails and stuff like that okay so we don't have to worry about losing them um, the computer will shut down and then it'll restart and when it restarts it'll be restored to what it was okay now all I have to do there is press next and everything will shut down and start doing it but I'm not going to do that we're going to go back okay now this is so that's how you just restore it now I created that restore point so I'm going to go back and show you how to create one okay now we're going to choose create a restore point Okay, go down and press next. <coughs> okay, now I'm going to just type in a name just so I remember what it is. Okay, now this is after I installed that program. And I'm going to go down the bottom and I want to press create. Okay, now what it's done, it says it up here, it says new restore point and it's called after gears. Okay, now I can close it or I can go home. Now I'm going to press home. We'll go back to the restore window. Okay, your last choice here is to undo the restoration. Okay, so press next. And here we go again. It'll just say exactly what it's going to do. Um, I'm not going to go through with it, obviously, because I don't need to. Um, the same thing will happen. It'll restart the computer and it will be back to where it was before I restored. Okay, 
so that's about it for system restore it's pretty easy um, now over here there's a little um, link here to press on for the settings okay and it just comes up with the system properties now here it is um, you can tick on that box if you want to um, to turn off system restore but I, I wouldn't recommend it because um, once you find out about it and get it working uh, it's a fantastic thing um, it's very very um, easy to use um, you can press on this here okay now this is the um, disk space that I've allowed for it now I'm using maximum because I have got a big hard disk and I really rely on um, system restore just in case because I install a lot of programs and some of them might be dodgy because um, I try them out before I write about them and stuff like that so <clears throat> you can move that if you want um, I definitely have to have it up there um, yeah but I, I'll definitely not have it on minimum um, it needs a little bit of space so you can keep your um, enough restore points okay right and get rid of that and that's about it